Bogota, which has increased from 3.5 million to 11 million, and Bangalore, which has grown from 2.8 million to 13 million, right? Cities are powering the growth of the developing world. They are providing enormous income benefits, and they're even places where self-reported happiness is demonstrably higher. So I think if we're taking a global perspective, this isn't even arguable. If we want to restrict ourselves just to the U.S., I think the case is closer, but I still think it is very much false that cities are past their prime. And in part, it's because I feel like we've seen this before. When I was a kid growing up in New York City in the 1970s, the Daily News headlines screamed Ford to City drop dead. And it felt as if not just President Ford, but all of history was telling New York to drop dead. Because of changes in technology, because of the rise of suburbs, because of the death of distance, which meant that former urban powerhouses like the garment uh, industry uh, lost hundreds of thousands of jobs in a short period of time. And so consequently, Alvin Toffler, a futurist, writing in 1980, wondered whether or not the information technology of, of his age, uh, the, the fax machine and the personal computer, would make the urban knowledge industries that had come to be the mainstay of, of city life obsolete. But we'd all decamp to electronic uh, cottages. And yet New York, even the core New York, even Manhattan has experienced an enormous renaissance since 1980. Taken as a whole, New York City's metro area real estate prices boomed 111% between 1978 and 1988. The city got safer and it became more economically dynamic. And the reason for this, and this is of course not just about New York, it's about London, it's about Paris, it's about Chicago, it's about Los Angeles, is that what globalization and new technologies did is they radically increased the returns to being smart. They radically increased the returns to innovation. And we are a social species that gets smart by being around other smart people. And it was this advantage of the ability to learn from one another in cities, exactly what Joel was talking about when he was urging his kids to go to New York when they're, when they're young, that in fact the cities came back. Now, looking forward, we've been through a, a terrible two years for cities. There's no sign that the basic urban function is disappearing, and there's no sign that in fact the, the value of knowledge is disappearing. Cities have been through much worse. They have been bombed. Uh, they have suffered worse plagues than this one, and they have come that because they play to humanity's greatest asset, which is our ability to work together, to collaborate, and to create incredible new innovations. Thanks.